case, why would you, uh, why should you be the nominee and not the former president? I think there's something deeper going on in the Republican Party here. And I am upset about what happened last night. We've become a party of losers at the end of the day. We have a cancer in the Republican establishment. Let's speak the truth. I mean, since Ronna McDaniel took over as chairwoman of the RNC in 2017, we have lost 2018, 2020, 2022, no red wave that never came. We got trounced last night in 2023. And I think that we have to have accountability in our party. For that matter, Ron, if you want to come on stage tonight, you want to look the GOP voters in the eye and tell them you resign, I will turn over my, yield my time to you. And frankly, look, the people there cheering for losing in the Republican Party. Think about who's moderating this debate. This should be Tucker Carlson, Joe Rogan, and Elon Musk. We'd have 10 times the viewership asking questions that GOP primary voters actually care about and bringing more people into our party. You think the Democrats, and we've got Kristen Welker here, you think the Democrats would actually hire Greg Gutfeld to host a Democratic debate? They wouldn't do it. And so the fact of the matter is, I mean, Kristen, I'm going to use this time because this is actually about you in the media and the corrupt media establishment. Ask you the Trump-Russia collusion hoax that you pushed on this network for years. Was that real or was that Hillary Clinton made up disinformation? Answer the question. Go. Mr. Sorry. This is how we get our country back. We need accountability because this media rigged the 2016 election. They rigged the 2020 election with the Hunter Biden laptop story. Mr. Ramaswamy, and they're going to rig this election. Your time is up. Accountability. Let me turn to That's Governor, Governor Christie. How do you get TikTok banned if you use it? Well, I, I, I want to laugh at why Nikki Haley didn't answer your question, which is about looking at families in the eye. In the last debate, she made fun of me for actually joining TikTok while her own daughter was actually using the app for a long time. So you might want to take care of your family first. Leave my before daughter out of your, your voice. Your adult daughter. The next generation of Americans are using it. And that's actually the point. You have her supporters propping her up. That's fine. Here's the truth. You're just the scum. easy answer is actually to say that we're just going to ban one app. We got to go further. We have to ban any U.S. company actually transferring U.S. data to the Chinese. Joe Biden's son, Hunter Biden, got a $5 million bribe from Ukraine. That's why we're sending $200 billion back to that same country. The fact of the matter is the Republican Party is not that much better. You have the likes of Nikki Haley, who stepped down from her time at the U.N., bankrupt or in debt is, was her family. Then she becomes a military contractor. She joins the board of Boeing and otherwise, and is now a multimillionaire. So I think that that's wrong when Republicans do it or Democrats do it. That's the choice we face. Do you want a leader from a different generation who's going to put this country first, or do you want Dick Cheney in three-inch heels? All right, Mr. In which case, we've got two of them on stage Mr. tonight. Ramaswamy, thank you. And so to frame this as some kind of battle between good versus evil, don't buy it. And I'd like the likes of the, the sharpest of the war hawks on Ukraine, Nikki Haley, to have some accountability and answer. Do you want to use U.S. taxpayer money to fund the banning of Christians? That is actually what's happening. They're using the Ukrainian Orthodox Church. They have banned them. The Ukrainian parliament just did this last week, supported by our dollars. And I think you owe it to the American people, Nikki, to at least this Mr. one time, at least condemn, thank you. That's time. At least to Mr. condemn Ramaswamy, their banning you. of Christians. Mr. Ramaswamy, thank you. Out of both sides Mr. Ramaswamy, thank you. We ask the questions. What we need to do is stop using our military to protect somebody else's border halfway around the world when we're short right here at home. Get serious about protecting this border. And then the other thing that hasn't been discussed is the northern border. I'm the only candidate on the stage, as far as I'm aware, who has actually visited the northern border. There was enough fentanyl that was captured just on the northern border last year to kill three million Americans. So we got to just skate to where the puck is going, not just where the puck is. Don't just build the wall, build both walls. Can't just complete the wall, use the military to seal the Swiss cheese for the tunnels that they're actually building underneath that wall. Thank you, That's Mr. Ramaswamy. practical and actually get this job done.